Welcome back. Captain Stancom here with the latest installment of the definitive guide to every clone trooper LEGO has ever made. And this is a subset of my Know Your Clone series here on YouTube. And if you'd like to see the rest of that series, I'll provide a link in the description below. And before we get started, as always, I'm just going to ask that you please subscribe to this channel. I've been working really hard making a lot of these videos so far for this series, and I've got a lot more in the works, so be sure to not only subscribe, but please turn on notifications, that way you can know as soon as the latest video drops. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. And today's clone trooper is none other than Commander Wolf, one of the most respected and beloved clone troopers in the Grand Army of the Republic. And this clone trooper appears in one set, the 7964 Republic Frigate in 2011. And this minifigure is based off of Commander Wolf, who appears in the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV series. And in this Phase 1 armor, he appears in three episodes. And the first episode he appears in with this armor is in the second season in R2 Come Home, when he rescues both Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker from a destroyed Republic Star Destroyer on Vancouver. He next is involved in the rescue of the Jedi and clone troopers escaping from the Citadel in Citadel Rescue. And then the final episode in this armor that he appears in is in Padawan Lost when he is helping take a Separatist command station when Ahsoka Tano is kidnapped on Felucia. And obviously Commander Wolf has many other appearances in Star Wars The Clone Wars, but these are the only three episodes in which he appears in this armor. So taking a closer look at this clone trooper, we're first going to take a look at his helmet. Now this helmet is a unique print, however, this helmet mold is used in 24 different clone troopers from 2008 until 2022, most recently appearing in the 40558 clone command station from 2022. Next, removing his helmet, we see that this is actually a unique head print, which is unusual for clone troopers. And this head print you can clearly see has a battle scar on his eye from where he was injured by Asajj Ventress. Moving down to his torso, this is the same torso that is used on the 104th Wolfpack Trooper that is also seen in this set. And then his arms are sand blue, with this being one of six times where sand blue arms are used on a clone trooper. And his hands are black, which is very common among clone troopers, with all but ten clone troopers having black hands. And finally his legs, with the black waistband and sand blue legs with printing on them, appear also in the 104th Wolfpack Trooper. Now this clone trooper does come with accessories, coming with a camera, visor, rangefinder, and headlight. However, his character only really should have the rangefinder and camera. And as far as weapons, he comes equipped with two DC-17 hand blasters, and all of his accessories and weapons are in black. And as of summer 2022, the average price for this clone trooper is between $72 and $106, depending on whether you purchase him new or used. And there you have it, Clone Commander Wolf in Phase 1 armor. Again, one of the most beloved and respected clone troopers in the Grand Army of the Republic. And that's where we're going to leave it until the next installment. And that next installment will feature the second version of the animated clone trooper pilot. And if you want to see that video, be sure to not only subscribe, but also turn on notifications, so that way you know as soon as that video drops. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd really appreciate a like. And until next time, this is Captain Stancom, signing out.